But just imagine if there is a craft out there that can travel light years at these incredible speeds that we, it's not even imaginable. We can't even comprehend it as humans, those pictures you're seeing there. Just imagine what that would do, that show no heat trail to any of the most, uh, you know, quali- any of the best sensors in the world. Imagine what that would do to the energy complex. The industrial war complex would be out of business overnight. Congressman Tim Burchett on News Nation this weekend. You've seen him on our program as well talking about UFOs. He claims a massive government conspiracy covers up evidence of UFOs, possibly crashed spacecraft. He promises to expose part of it at a Wednesday congressional hearing, according to the congressman's office. UFO enthusiasts from around the country want to attend this hearing in person. And much of the new excitement comes from a whistleblower first featured on News Nation. David Grush will be among the witnesses. Do we have bodies? Do we have species of Well, naturally, um, when you recover something that's either landed or crashed, um, sometimes you encounter um, dead pilots. And uh, believe it or not, as, fan- as fantastical as that sounds, it's true. All right, Bill O'Reilly, anchor of No Spin News with us. Bill, uh, I, I, I don't want to say, like, are there aliens, but has, has our government ever been this good at covering something up for 60 years uh, over all of this time with all of the people that would be required to do it? About six days with cocaine in the White House. Pretty good at the uh, cover-up. Um, okay, a couple of truisms here. Number one, Leland, people believe what they want to believe. So if uh, an American or a Russian or anybody wants to believe there are aliens down here on Earth, that's what they're going to believe. And they'll seek out justification for that belief. Number two, my job as a journalist and your job as well is to be skeptical, all right, of any kind of purported, alleged, any of that. So here's my essential question on the UFO thing, and it's why I don't spend a lot of time on it on BillOReilly.com. There are a lot of countries in the world that have sophisticated listening satellite devices. Not one has produced any evidence, hard, factual evidence, that a UFO entered our atmosphere and did anything. So U.S. government covering up, Roswell, New Mexico, uh, Nevada, all of this, okay. But what about China? What about India? What about Great Britain? They've never, ever put forth anything. And so I'm skeptical. I'll listen to the UFO stuff. I'm not going to watch it wall to wall, but whatever comes out of it, I'll examine it. But I am skeptical at this juncture. I guess that that's the inherent point, right, which is you you and I are both supposed to be skeptical. And I wonder if some of the skepticism right. is being lost in in a lot of the fascination, excitement, whatever you want to call it. We've been through down this road before, right? Roswell was a weather balloon, Area 51. Uh, it's where they developed the SR-71 Blackbird in, in U-2. Phoenix lights haven't been figured out. Mussolini spacecraft. This is some idea that the, the Vatican was involved in this going back into pre-World War II. I, I, I take your point about the the six days of, of cocaine in the White House. The, the flip side of that was, you know, even even Bill Clinton couldn't couldn't keep Monica Lewinsky's secret. Um, you, you're talking about tens of thousands of people in this. I, I guess what I'm wondering is how at some point do we do we get to the, the point and you've got Congress spending our tax dollars now investigating, I guess, themselves or investigating the government. When do we get to the point we go, OK, show me the little green men and the crash spacecraft or we're going to decide to move on from this? But people aren't going to decide to move on. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> and you can make money uh, as a conspiratorialist. Yeah. Look, I like the Invasion of the Body Snatchers, one of the greatest movies ever. I was scared to live in uh, whatever out of me when I was 10 and saw it. And, I, you know, all those aliens running around and uh, they're chasing Sigourney Weaver. And, you know, come on, I'll watch some of that. But at this point where so many things going on that are so serious, I mean, the U.S. government, as you discussed earlier, it's on the verge of collapsing because of this Hunter Biden stuff. 
And I mean that literally. That's how close the walls are to coming in. Did you notice that uh, the Corinne Jean-Pierre story changed today? Did you notice that? Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.